Welcome to Meals in Moments, where I get to learn how to cook my guest's favourite dish and find out what makes it so special. Across the series, we'll be getting some great ideas from your favourite celebrities for simple and delicious meals that could be cooked up in no time. Today's guest is not only a presenter and award-winning comedienne, she's also a renowned actress and a regular on EastEnders. It's Nina Wadia. Now, your background is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Born in Mumbai mm. and then moved to Hong Kong. How old were you moved to Hong Kong? Uh, I was nine. And so do you think that influenced your food as well? Yeah, very much so, especially because we left India to run a restaurant in Hong Kong uh, called the Ashoka. Oh, really? uh, so an Indian restaurant in Hong Kong? Yes, Indian restaurant in Hong Kong. And my parents brought it up from a, a nothing restaurant to the number one diners club restaurant um, at that time, which was a huge, huge deal. Today, Nina is going to be cooking me a curry, parsley scrambled eggs. And with that impressive foodie background, I can't wait to taste it. And where does the dish originate from? Um, it originates from what used to be Persia. <laughs> uh -huh. But I think it's obviously been Indianified a bit, <laughs> Parsis living in, in India. I mean, the Parsi community, it's, it's, it's a very kind of old, old community. There's only about 150,000 of us left in the world and originated in Persia, which is now, of course, Iran, Iraq. And yeah, so we've kind of taken on a lot of traditions from India, a lot of Hindu and Muslim things go into the food, so it's good. Okay, brilliant. Well, should we stop? What, what do we need? What do you um, need first? If you could chop up an onion for me, that'd be great. What am I chopping? I'm, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> That's how I cook at home. <laughs> okay. So, finely chopped onion. Yes, please. And could you throw some in there for me? Do all that? Oh, yes, please. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. Because I get really excited by all kinds of, of Asian cuisines. Yeah. I think sometimes mm -hmm. we all think that Indian food in particular has a million ingredients in it. Yes. And yet I'm looking in front of this now and we, and we don't at no, all. No, this is a very simple sort of quick and easy dish. Can I have a couple of cloves of garlic, please, if that's okay? Sure. Of course, in EastEnders, then, mm. you run a catering company. <laughs> and I'm always intrigued to know, you know, when we see you kind of making stuff. Yes. What are the secrets then? What's really going on? Uh, it'll probably completely ruin it for the viewers, but <laughs> they go to a wholesale company, the Props Boys, and they basically buy huge jars of ready-made curry sauces, no. pour them into the things, and then, of course, we have to look like we've been seasoning it and adding in potatoes and, and this and that. It's great. And then, of course, just before Nitin, who plays my husband Masood on the show, comes over to taste something, I'm very naughty, and I put in a couple of extra teaspoons of chilli powder and give him that to taste. So we have our fun on set. I'm putting in a, um, a half a teaspoon of turmeric, just so you know. Okay. And tiniest pinch of chilli powder, mostly because I make this for my kids a lot. I'll need uh, one chilli, please, if that's all right. And again, seeds yes, in, seeds out. Uh, seeds, I would keep seeds in. Good. Depends on how spicy you like it. I like it spicy. Okay, so what, uh, seeds in and, in that and case. And tiny, 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 please, yeah. Okay, fine. So with the kitchen things like that, do, so do you have, say if you're cooking for your husband, Yes. what's your signature dish then? I'm or if you're in the doghouse, let's do it this way. If you're in the doghouse... It's got to be the dunsak on a Sunday. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you, like you guys have roast on a Sunday, we have dunsak on a Sunday. It's a proper Parsi dunsak. And it takes, we prepare it the night before because food always tastes better, Indian food especially. Curries and things taste better the day after. I agree. Cumin, about a half a teaspoon. Yeah. Uh, of cumin seeds. The cumin seeds are one of my favourite things. Yeah. I love the smell. I always think, I mean, straight away, the minute that goes in, it, it just takes seconds that's it. for it to Would start you like to stir and I'll do tomatoes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to swap over. Love to. Because I also thought, when I, when I was kind of wondering about what you're going to do, I also thought when we started cooking this, there might be slightly more oil or butter, but it's actually quite dry, isn't it? It is. It, well, initially it is. Now what we'll do is we'll add in the tomatoes. It smells good now. That is so Now you nice. let the tomato get a little bit mushy. Yeah. And then we'll get the eggs going. A dash of milk in there. Have this for breakfast. You can have a brunch. Brunch is perfect. This is like yeah. a late... If you want to have it like a late Sunday afternoon wake-up kind of lunch, it's perfect. Yeah. It's a good thing. And that's perfect. See, that's all kind of mushy and... Beautiful. Lovely. Perfect. Now we add that in and you just turn right, right down, please, the stove. Okay. And you stir away. Now, just before it's done, which it almost is, you add in fresh coriander. This is so simple, isn't it? It's very simple and it is delicious. I'm going to put in some toast. So, so the Nina guide to the essential spices in your cupboard to cook beautiful party food would be? Would be literally um, turmeric, chilli powder, coriander powder and cumin powder. Those are the absolute staple essentials and you'll need that for for most Parsi cooking. It's easy enough to do. Don't be afraid of spices. Spices are, are easy. Spices are your friend. Yeah, they are. They are your <laughs> friend. <laughs> ah, perfect toast as well. 
There we go. Now, see, buttering into the corners. I hate people who don't butter toast into the corners. You know, I was going to. Uh... I, I think it's a key to kind of finding your perfect partner. <laughs> if they don't butter into the corner, then it means they'll be mean of nature <laughs> as, well as, as well as butter and they're the person to avoid. Sounds good. There we go. Okay. Let's serve that up. I'll leave that to you. Thank you. Sir. There we go. Nina, that looks fantastic. Fab. Can't wait to taste it. Sounds good. So, for Nina's fast and easy akuri or Parsi scrambled eggs, all you need to do is fry some onion with a knob of butter, then add the finely grated garlic, chopped chilli and cumin. Sprinkle in the turmeric and chilli powder, then add the chopped tomatoes. Beat six large eggs with a dash of milk before tipping into the pan. Mix over a low heat and while stirring, add fresh coriander. To serve, spoon the delicious akuri over well-buttered toast. Mm -hmm. oh. How's that? Perfect. It's just a light, light amount of spice, but it feels more, more like a meal mm. than, than a breakfast, and it's nice. I mean, this is delicious. You, you know, this is a, as a snack or as a meal is delicious. Mm. What else have you got in your little parsley handbag <laughs> along the same lines? Um, loads of things. Lots of vegetable dishes are very, very quick to do. You know, uh, vegetarian dishes, uh, things like lagansala stew, which is like frozen mixed vegetables. You can make like a sweet and sour stew with that. Mm -hmm. um, dal is very easy. Mori dal, which is like very simple lentils. That's simple. Honestly, it's really, really, really easy. Beautiful. It's been absolutely fantastic. This is yeah. really delicious. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you very much. Right, I'm having more of this. Thank you.